Welcome back to the 90 Degrees Podcast. I'm Dil. And I'm Habib. Today we'll be talking about something called the three second rule, what it is, how to use it and whether it actually works in real life. So Habib, what is the three second rule? The three second rule is a tool or strategy to increase one's productivity. It helps you get things done basically. So if you have an instinct to act on a goal, you basically have three seconds to act on it. Otherwise, your brain basically stops you from doing it. All right. Okay. So what does this mean? Well, there's 86,400 seconds in a day, right? Three of those seconds can change your life. Like our brains, they're programmed, like they're programmed to manage risk and to think about risk. So when you get an idea, right? What ends up happening is your brain will start to think and analyze what obstacles will come in the way, what type of things will happen. It'll, it'll basically do its risk management. And that ends up making you start thinking about the negative straight away, which in turn means that it, it basically stops you in your tracks and stops you from doing things. Now, people think they they have the perception right though that they can change their minds uh, or they can control their minds. And they'll generally say like, look, okay, yeah, I'll do it later or I can do this. Unfortunately, it's not the case. You don't control your mind. You can manipulate your mind. However, unless you do something or put things in place, you can't just say, oh, it's my mind, I control it and I'll, I'll do something about it later or what I say will happen. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And... Um, yeah, so what I, I found, and this comes from a, uh, what was her name? Her name was Mel Robbins, right? She was the, a lawyer from what I remember, and she she struggled getting out of bed in the morning, right? And I remember watching a YouTube clip on her talking on a, a, a chat show or, or somewhere where they were having a discussion, right? And she was saying that, she struggled getting out of bed in the morning and she was thinking about NASA or she was watching NASA and do you know they do five, four, three, two. One. Oh, the countdown. Oh, they do the countdown, yeah. yeah. So she she really <laughs> struggled getting out of bed and then she thought, all right, maybe I'll use that technique to get out of bed. And uh, when when she got up in the morning, she she did it. She did five, four, three, two, one, and she got out of bed and she realized that she was actually getting out of bed. She was struggling less. And she wasn't thinking about too much. Now, obviously, I say the three second rule because generally it first thing first is two seconds faster. Right? You got fast <laughs> people. It's two seconds faster, right? But not only that, it's fast people generally, it's it's how many times in your life, right? How many times in your life have you had an idea, right? You think about an idea, you think it's going to be great, I should do this, whatever the idea is, and then so within a couple of seconds, because you did nothing or you didn't do anything about it or act on it, how many times has that opportunity now gone or, or the the outcome, <clears throat> you can't get the outcome anymore because someone sees that opportunity, whether it's a job role, whether it's a business idea. You're telling me that hasn't happened to you in life? That's happened many times, many times. Go on, share some, share something. Well, to start with, I can give you an example of uh, where it's worked, as in um, it's when uh, we decided to do the podcast. And I've talked about this many times before, but you know, it, you know, where somebody's always saying, oh, no, you know, don't have the time, or how are you going to do this? Oh, it's not going to work. You're too old, or this, that, the other. Some, some, something, or some factor always comes into it that you actually, uh, you actually, it deters you. Now, what what happened after that was, uh, you know, you, you come across somebody who's like minded, yeah, who's also been thinking about doing something similar or doing something exactly like this, like do a podcast or you know to share feelings, ideas, and this, that, the other. And that person was you. Just happened to mention, just happened to talk between ourselves, and literally, 
not even thinking about it, within three, not even, I can actually say this three to five seconds, we said, all right, let's do this. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it wasn't an easy road. It wasn't an easy path. Yeah, we struggled, but we kept at it. We've got busy lifestyles, both of us. We both work. We, you know, and this is something that we didn't think that we'd actually get into. Exactly. But because we're like-minded people and because we chose the topics that we wanted to speak about, we decided within seconds. Within seconds, all right, let's do this. Let's go. Let's, you know, get 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 this moving and look where we are today. Exactly. We ain't getting no exterior help. We're doing it all ourselves. So that that's worked. Another one was... Um, we did this food. Uh, this this is a funny one. Me, and my sister, we did this food, like um, magazine kind of thing, and uh, it actually it was doing well. It was actually doing well, and uh, this was in Lancaster here, and um, we just you know people were just saying, "Oh, it's not going to work." Mom, like like there were brothers and this that the other. They were saying, "Oh, it's not going to work." You know, it's just too much, too much for you to do. And uh, we actually let go. We didn't do it. Uh, yeah. Next thing we know, about six to eight months later, this little magazine comes through the door. Yeah, And now it comes every five to six months with new businesses, new thingy. And it's got all the businesses in Lancaster, Morgan, <clears throat> Pichu, and everybody advertising in there. Obviously, yeah. they make money through advertisement. But because of that couple of seconds of deterrence, we changed our mind and we just threw all that hard work away. We just thought, forget it. But it worked. It actually worked and it's working now. And it's continuing like 10 years down the line. It's still coming through the door. How do you feel seeing that when you first I saw it? Seeing that, I felt, ah, oh, do you know what? I did this. I yeah. did this. That's why when we actually went for this podcast, I was like, do you know what? No, I'm going to go through with it. Yeah, I'm gonna go through with it. I'm not gonna take. Like, I've I've already had a few people, or not naming any names, already say, "Oh yeah, no, nah, it's not gonna work." Yeah. So let me cut you in before we go on to like the success and the actual use, like the 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 good part of the strategy. Let's go talk about some negatives, like so. But let me share a story where I could have used the three second rule, right, to to improve my life, and I don't know where my life would have been if I didn't use it, if, if I had used it. So I was running my businesses, right? My food retail businesses. And we have delivery drivers that go out and give the food to our customers. I'd hire them in and they'd go out, they'd give it out. And I'd have one or two every so often. They'd be late or they'd come back late or the customers got their food late, but they left and the customer's only 20 minutes away or, or maybe 10 minutes away. So why is the food getting late, et cetera, et cetera. And I realized really quickly that there's a problem in my business where I can't tell where my drivers are going. I can get a rough estimate, but then at the same time, you have to trust your staff. If you start becoming untrusting, you break your relationships and the dynamics won't be yeah. as good. Um, so I started to think and develop of a system where I could track the orders, create an app, send the orders out and share information. So my customers, my drivers, everyone would know where everyone is. I can effectively manage my business and it would have also made it more productive because I know when my drivers are coming back so I can get the next thing ready. I know where they're going. If customers call, I can tell them, look, they're on the way, they're there. Little, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, the, the customer, so if customer calls, oh, look, they're on their way. So this was all like happening in my head and I was like yeah I should do it but as soon as I had that idea the first thing like I said going back to our brains are wired to manage risk and to think about risk because they're, 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 they're supposed to protect us we have an innate ability to protect ourselves it's in us yeah. naturally from anything bad so we, yeah, we deter we're, ourselves yeah. if so somebody else doesn't do it we deter ourselves yeah we're very good and this is why like and what happened so so I, I I thought of a number of reasons, whether it was capital, whether it was time, bandwidth. You need the capacity to do this. Not only that, I'd even need to educate myself on app development. Because in, in a lot of the times, I do the legwork. Whenever I pick up a project, I don't hire people, etc. I go and learn it so I can be the number one person dealing with it and the information. Yeah. Um, that's my safety net. <laughs> safety net. I need to know the information. 
So I held back because I was like, there's not enough time. I'll have to uh, develop this and I'm already building my businesses, current businesses. Little do I know, right? A year later is everyone's doing the tracking. Uber started it, you know, Uber Eats. And they had my idea. But look how successful that idea is. Then COVID happened. And and you can imagine from my thing, I, I still sit there and think, you know what? I had this idea about two years before it came out. If I had used the three second rule, right? And just got up and did it, did something, I you may have. Or ahead of the curve. Yeah, I may have been there. Uh, it is what it is, because because I do believe in silver lining and everything happens for a reason. Yeah. However, there's there's one example there, right? And not only that. You just, can I just butt in there? Yeah, go on. I actually thought about the same thing. Yeah. Do you know what it is? I think what happens is uh, people like big companies like this have certain things like this in R&D, you know, research yeah. and development, yeah? And then, you know, there are people like us who are actually be thinking, sitting there, like, because you were a business owner, then I'm still a business owner. We think, all right, do you know what? Same thing, same scenario. I had my drivers missing. And I was like, wouldn't it be nice if I could, uh, you know, do this, 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 uh, you know, track them, see where they're going? Because when I was in the ambulances uh, working as an EMT, they had trackers in the vehicles. And I was just thinking, they know where we're going because on the big screen, you can actually see which ambulance has gone, blue lights, which going, which is going where, where we're supposed to be going, how long it's taken us. Yeah. And I was just thinking, man, that would be so cool to do that, but that probably costs a lot of money. And I was deterred automatically. Yeah. But you went so far as to actually do the research and then you thought, all right, solid. No. Right? But no, some no, no. I, I didn't do any research. I told you my mind thinks quick. But I, I'm very very I like fast in the way I think even the way I speak right all of that happened there and then literally oh bloody hell there and then and then you turned yourself as well in the was sitting, yeah because <laughs> within, within the first minute right I had thought about all of that and I thought you know I've got, I've got too much going on I've already got this business the pizza business and I was still doing the um import export from China right yeah, yeah. so all of that I was like no, forget it man and then obviously my mom I want to make sure that family and my mom and everyone had time. Yeah. So I left that. But that's what I'm talking about. It's our innate ability to protect ourselves that can also become a problem, right? And if we understand that, and we can, we once we understand that, and once we know how it works, we can actually manipulate ourselves, right? And I'm, I'm very big on knowing ourselves knowing what our pros and cons are and manipulating them to get the best outcome and someone might say why do you want to manipulate yourself right well other people are going to do it right you're going to subconsciously do it to yourself and and, and bring negativity into your mind so then why am I not going to manipulate myself to bring a desirable outcome that I chose that I was master plan that makes sense right so I haven't actually thought about it the way you've just said it but that, that's how you, you get what I mean, right? Yeah, you, you, you know, you can manipulate subconsciously all day, every day yeah. by adverts. But if someone's going to manipulate me, I'm going to manipulate me, right? Yeah. And I often do that. I sit there and think, okay, what am I going to tell myself to do these things? Or what am I going to tell myself for? Even when I'm sad or angry, I know I'm digressing, right? But you have to tell yourself something for the best outcome. And for this, this is a productivity um, thing. Right, the three second rule will change lives. I've, I've, I think it will. It's something that I can tell myself to do, and the reason I shortened it from five to three is with I find with myself, I'm very fast in thinking and I know myself. Everyone knows themselves, so you're very quick. If someone else doesn't say it, you will definitely say it, and you'll be the quickest person to say, I can't do this, or, or this is in the way, and that's in the way. And I don't tolerate that type of inner thought in my head it comes but I, I dislike it and and this is why I wanted to kind of share with our viewers and with you and just talk no, I totally agree with the three second rule but I, I'd like you know I'm, I'm a bit slower than you so I'd give myself a couple of more seconds <laughs> but I always end up uh, you know I know exactly what you're talking about I'll always end up with the same result like whether or not I'm gonna stick to it or I'm gonna throw it out the window and head off I'll, I'll know automatically but I'd, 
I I hundred percent agree with what you're saying. Three to five seconds, you yeah. know, that's all it should take you to make a decision. Yeah. Right. Some things, yeah, obviously you need to think about it over and over again. But whether you can do it or not, you know your capabilities, and you should be able to make those decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Um, <clears throat> it's funny, you know. Uh, I was going to actually set up YouTube when I was seventeen, eighteen. So mm-hmm. we made a, a one video and put it on YouTube, and it was it was us doing some martial arts like fun nonsense. But we also were playing with like you know when you put the light fluid in the bottle, right? And then you light it, and I did a Hadouken. So we did yeah. and stuff. I like think that. I've seen that video. Yeah. So because because I was always into martial arts right from seventeen. So was it you and your brother? It was no, it was me and a couple of college friends. But like literally, we were we were doing the edits where I was on the wall up there, and then I disappear and I end up on the wall there. So I could hold onto the like wall that I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, that that was fun. At that point, I was like, you know what? I should do YouTube videos. Just fun, whatever it was. And back then, I would have made some funky martial arts or whatever it was. Just it was more fun edits. All right. <laughs> and I, I and what happened was I was like. Nah, people can take the mick out of you. You know, they're going to call you stupid. Don't do it. It was... It's, it's you just, turned yourself. Yeah, I, just, I said no. And plus also, people can see you. What's the family going to say? You can, you can do silly things, right? It won't be anything dodgy or criminal, but it would have been just silly, you know? Jack, uh, like, jack, maybe not jack or stuff, but, you know, silly things, pranks. Mm. <laughs> and I put myself off again within... within uh, Within maybe 30 seconds, I put myself off. So just uh, just going back a bit, um, Habib, will the three-second rule really impact my life? Yeah? Does it really work? And can you just share some real-life examples, uh, you know, for our viewers and, you know, the students or whoever's going to be watching? Yeah, of course. So... As we've already shared some examples of where it increased productivity, right? It's it's one of the things. It's it'll, it'll increase your productivity because what will happen is you will end up using the three second rule: three, two, one, get up, go. Um, which means that if you have an idea, you're more likely to go and do it, right? So mm-hmm. in this situation, more likely to do it. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to end up basically getting up, which in turn obviously reduces laziness, isn't it? Yes. So so you can like you can use it to increase productivity. You can reduce laziness, right? And how do you reduce laziness? Like, like someone who is in a situation where they don't want to study, for example, right? You don't want to study. You don't want to get up. You got an exam. However, it's a tedious task, right? Opening your books, getting on with your work. When you have that moment where you've got some free time, you think, I should be studying right now, right? Instead of thinking about, oh, it's going to be long. I don't want to open my books. I don't want to do this. As soon as you, you got that idea, you should be saying, okay, you know what? Three, two, one, get up, go. You know? Uh, or if it's getting up to go to the gym, getting up to go to a Muay Thai class, three, two, one, go, get up, go. And, and you don't allow yourself time to think. And that will reduce laziness. Um, in terms of reducing anxiety, if you think about it, right, it will reduce anxiety because delay will make you overthink. And this, in turn, kind of reduces, it, it increases anxiety, right? When you delay your your brain, because as your mind draws on the negatives and the obstacles in the way, it increases your self-doubt and anxiety. So the longer you actually allow yourself to ruminate and to think about things, the more anxiety you will have, especially if you're a person who suffers with anxiety or um, self-regulation, right? What ends up happening is like those people will start to think, oh, what about this? What about that? And that feeling, that sinking feeling is, is something that can be improved over time with the use of this strategy. I think. But in turn... I think that improves uh, confidence as well, I'm guessing. Yeah, all of it, all of it will, because you become well-equipped in getting up and going and doing things, because what you're doing is you're manipulating your brain and mind to function a certain way. No, ah, You go back to what you were saying before. Exactly. Manipulate your own self 
So you're doing these things, so it's for your own benefit. Exactly. You That's know where you're going to uh, fail and you you have to overcome your brain. It's, it's a weird one. Like, you know, your brain functions a certain way. So then you want to reduce anxiety, you want to improve laziness, like reduce laziness and improve productivity. You have to put the steps in, right? I've never actually thought of it as a three second or five second rule, but I see what you're saying. I've actually done what you're saying, but without actually applying this, but yeah. I will be applying this a lot more. But uh, all I do is I think about it. if I'm going to do it, I'm going to get it done right now. I'm not, I'm, you know, because if, if I don't do it, I know I'm going to sit, kick back and just be lazy. Yeah. And that's just something that I don't agree with. So I end up doing things. We, yeah, but that's what I mean. You, you, now that I've talked about it, you're starting to see points where you've used it subconsciously. Yes, subconsciously. Uh, yes, it's subconscious. A lot of us, a lot of human beings, what they find is if you look at your most productive moments or where you've achieved something, it's because you've just got up and got on, got on with it, right? You didn't yeah. think too much, you got up and got on with it. If you look 100%. at your failures and successes and you actually think about it and critically analyze it, what ends up happening is you'll realize that it was because you didn't act. Now, by actually absorbing and understanding a strategy and thinking about it you're, you're going to take it from your subconscious mind and actually put it into your conscious mind and use it effectively because there's a lot of strategies if you don't use them what's the point that's true so um where can i or where can i or people utilize this strategy like the three second rule uh, where can we actually utilize this in a real life situations? Lot of, everywhere, everywhere. Literally, if you have an idea or you want to get something done, that's one part, right? To increase productivity, you can use it there. You can use it before you're giving a public speech or or, or you talk at a public event, right? Reducing anxiety, stepping out on stage. Think about it. if you're going out on a public event, I got to step out on stage, right? There's that anxiety. Three, two, one, jump out. It, you, it, it's, 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 it's a fight or flight kind of mechanism if you want to think, think about yeah, it. Yeah, you go into the flight and fight mechanism. Yes. But when yeah. you say three, two, one, go. You have to like bottle it or you're yeah. going to get up and you know do what you're doing. You know, yeah. like comedians, before they get into it, they, they're all interviews, they've all said that they actually become nervous. They're actually nervous. And then they, you, you go out and they have a flawless, flawless set. Yeah, and you just that just that just reminded me of that the fight or flight yeah. before a public event. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, you have to do that. Um, if you're introducing yourself to someone, so if you're going to introduce yourself to someone and you're a naturally anxious person or a hesitant person, or whether it's you want to go up to someone and actually get to know them, you know that anxiety. Three, two, one, go. If you're if you're going to attend a social a, a, um, occasion, if you're going out to the gym. You know, all of these places, when you get angry and you're about to argue, right, and you need to calm yourself down. So sometimes you can use it to to cause yourself to do inaction, right? So I, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something, right? Three, two, one, calm down, right? So it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a, an action thing also. You can use it to psychologically stop yourself from saying things. You know, um, don't say something. You need to think about it. You know, you need your body to go into that risk management system and start thinking about the obstacles and hurdles. Because you don't want to upset someone. So you have to give yourself time. Right. Uh, so, right. OK. Yeah. So you can also utilize this in a negotiation, no? Exactly. Yeah. In a negotiation. And you'll be surprised. If you're ever in a negotiation, if you look into research, I was researching it earlier today as well is a three second pause will actually improve better outcomes in negotiation, right? I I can't go into the full psychology of it, but from what I read and what I remember reading, it was that three seconds gives people and also gives a perception that you've absorbed what the other person's saying in a negotiation, right? Which uh, means, uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, so when you give your pause, if you say something to me and then I give you something back, a rebuttal, and it's very quick and it's gunshot, like responsive. Psychologically, because you haven't given time to respond, you've given the perception that you didn't actually hear what was being said. 
Uh-huh. So in the negotiation, you're more likely to clash heads. So by using three seconds and giving a second to pause and then speaking will actually enable people to believe that, like that perception of being heard, uh, being valued. And it's all these small things. Yeah. So you can use it in, in a small little nuance, nuances. That's it. I see what you're saying now. You know but, what? I've used that innately. <laughs> I've used that innately. <laughs> Yeah, but it's if we don't have a discussion, if we don't embed it into our daily lives, right, and and actually share it with people, with with real life experiences, people can't utilize it and make it effective for their own. And these small changes that will have a significant impact on human beings. <clears throat> Even another one: How many people are trying to quit smoking? Every time someone wants to pick up a cigarette, or every time you think you can do something wrong and Let's just say you're one of my students and you think you're going to shout out or you're going to say something. You come down, three, two, one, you know? Or if if you're... They give you that little second to think. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or if you're scared of giving an answer and you want to give an answer because you need to improve your competence. Three, two, one, just, just give me the answer. Put your hand up. Go for it. So, Habib, just to summarise how to use the three-second rule, when you get an idea... Um, or you need to com- complete a task, you need to take action within the first three seconds. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. All right. And when that when this happens, get up and start the process immediately. Um, you can refine the method later or as you go along. So that, that's what I'm understanding, what you're saying. And, I've, you know, I've, I've used that. Hell, I've used that without even knowing innately, like I've said. Right? Yeah. I think it's a fantastic system. No, no, you you literally hit the nail on the head. That's exactly what you should be doing. As soon as you get an idea, whatever it is, just get up and start. Three seconds, go. And what you'll find is is there'll be obstacles and there'll be successes. Look at us with our YouTube journey, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, we we didn't we didn't waste time. We literally just acted on it, and uh, within three seconds, and we had so many obstacles. We still have, and we're still going to. However, we're going to keep uh, going on, aren't we, Dil? And continuing. Now, the bottom line is this. The more you wait, the less likely you will take action. So you have to act now and start moving before you talk yourself out of something. Yeah? Sure, you're going to fail. But at the same time, you will succeed, adding to your marginal gains in life. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us on another episode of the 90 Degrees podcast, where we talked about the three second rule. We hope you've enjoyed the discussion and were able to benefit from it. If there is anything that you would like to add or discuss further, please feel free to drop us a comment below. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also follow us on social media for more information and updates on future episodes. Thank you and see you in the next episode. Ordinary people, real talk. Ciao. Ciao.